Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay slash uh, offensive money play series for you guys. Three plays, three run plays, all of them very explosive. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the most explosive rushing attack you're going to see in the game this year. It's a running attack that I've been using pretty much all year. I'm using the Eagles playbook, and I'm starting off by showing you guys my mutt team that I'm using this in. This is in weekend league, uh, but ultimately I wanted to show you guys my offense because when you see some of the lanes, some of the rushing lanes, you're going to think I got some like mom monster squad but my offensive line is one of the last things that i really put resources into because i don't think they're very important i think the plays are more important so you know on average my offensive line are about an 87 uh but my running back though is outstanding i can't recommend ladanian thompson enough i love this running back he is an absolute beast so that's that's something that i would say i definitely have a great running back so going right into uh the game um, i have the worst team once again i mean i have a pretty good team it's a 90 overall team but you can see based off of these top cards that i probably have the worst of the two teams which is also something that i'll be playing from a disadvantage from but like i said it won't matter because you know it's all about the plays so before i get into this gameplay i just want to ask you guys do me a little bit of a favor um if you like this format or if you like this video do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section like shares comments all that stuff really helps out my video and if you want to show support show support that way and if you also like what you see make sure you stick around so starting off on the defensive side uh we're gonna be running pretty much the same defense we've been running all year uh the first play i mean i do a really good job of user following uh what my dudes uh he looked like he was gonna try to take off and i just pretty much shut down the entire field and then came up and made a tackle on him on the next play though um i mean he hits me with a screen i try to follow it i just run into all the trash i run into all the linemen i mean sometimes that happens you just can't get around them if you don't react quick enough or accurately enough uh third one i'm gonna hit him with my run d and we're gonna stop him there nope. uh, but he's gonna hurry up and he's gonna go for it. he's gonna hit me with that hurry up offense and go with pretty much the exact same play i thought maybe he would switch over to a pass uh, so i didn't run commit like i might sometimes and i almost shut him down again but he barely gets that first that would have really changed the outcome of this drive because he actually goes down the field on me uh from there on out and the next play i mean my, my defense is doing a pretty good job of locking up he just goes and bosses me uh, on a inaccurate bullet pass Bullshit. So he just outworked me for the ball. It is what it is. Uh, next couple plays, he's going to come out in this formation quite a bit. I'm going to have to remember this down the line because um, he uses this trick quite a bit. Uh, where I mean, he's hit me with crossers right now. Uh, but the next couple plays, he's going to come out in that exact same formation. It looks like he has, like, I don't know if it's route technician or what. But he just pushed his tight end on a post route. Maybe it's the play. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a play that has that particular route. Uh, but he uses it on the next two plays. That play there. And then on this next play here. And it just beats uh, my man coverage. It beats my, <laughs> my, uh, my, you know the zone that i put up Damn it! so he goes right down the field on me and scores which by all indications i'm playing a pretty good player if you can do that to me it typically means you're a good player i'm in weekend league he's got a better team all these things are going to prove that uh you know that what i'm going against is a good player and that's really going to make these plays more impressive uh as the next series starts i mean i, I get a penalty on myself i throw the ball i, I get a grounding penalty i would have got sacked anyway uh, next play i get he gets pressure up the middle so i'm immediately in a third and 26 uh and i'm going to hit him with something i mean i'm hoping he's in a cover two or a cover three sure if he's in the cover three so i get this a route which is very tight throw but it gets me out of danger it gets me back uh into a a first and ten and then we're going to go I'm going to switch it up since that passing wasn't really working we're going to go right to the running scheme so the the particular formation i'm going to be using is the single back wing flex like i said i'm in the eagles playbook so this is the three plays that are going to be in this particular formation you can see my running backs tired already too uh which isn't good i'm going to change up my uh my adjustments my audibles ultimately my 0-1 trap and my halfback zone week are going to be two of the plays that i'm going to use in this particular formation and the third one is going to be the halfback stretch all three of these plays i'm going to score explosive touchdowns with uh, if i make the right read so one of the first reads you're going to make when it comes to this particular formation is your gaps if you have a gap here the halfback zone week is usually the best play but if you have another gap here typically the 0-1 trap is going to be the best play so you're really reading those two gaps when it comes to running this particular offense and you can see right here i switch over to the 0-1 trap and sure enough look at the hellacious blocks and how big of a hole we get 
Gusset from making this correct read. I mean, this is insane. You're going to see this guy here is kind of open, but there's somebody on him. This guy here takes himself out of the play. This guy here is getting blown off the ball. Uh, this guy here is completely running himself out of the play with the block. And then this guy here is pretty much locked up. So pretty much everybody's locked up. Pretty much just leaves this safety here. He's got to run through a lot of trash to get to me. And this safety here has to cover the entire field. I can go left on him. I can go right on him. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go right. You can see he tries to come up and hit stick, but he's got to cover the entire field, which is just impossible. And I break away for a 55-yard touchdown run on the very first carry. So on the defensive side, um, we're going, you know, this guy's going to be hitting me with a lot of spread looks. I run a lot of spread looks too. Um, and he's just kind of spreading me and shredding me early, uh, which, you know, like I said, I mean, that's this guy's a good player. So, you know, you're going to see that. I make a new adjustment, which is something that I've seen other people do that I have no success with. Uh, and I'm not going to have a success with it here. Ultimately, I'm also doing a lot of labbing because I can't just keep running the same defense. I got to have new defenses to make videos about. So I'm, I'm tr kind of messing around with this, although I haven't really figured out the secret because I've seen it work for other people, but it doesn't really work for me. Um, so, you know, whatever. I'm probably, I probably got to set my zone adjustments to like deeper drops or something like that. That's probably the reason that it doesn't necessarily work for me. But early on, like I say, he's going right down the field on me. So in the next play, I try to kick it up a notch. I go back to the main defense that I use, which is pretty much just dropping my defensive ends. But you can see I'm still messing around with the, with the, with the flats. And nope. I almost get right on that ball, but, you know, not quite the change of direction that I want. Couldn't really turn around and make a play with the linebacker. But I was right there. I mean, I at least cut it off. Um, you know, I was close. And then on the next play, like I said, I, I'm really trying to, you know, orchestrate those those curl flats with the hook flats. Like I said, I'm trying something new. I'm still kind of labbing this to see if I can make this work and make it, make it even better. But like I said, I don't think I have the zone drops right. I think that's probably my issue. I probably got to probably put these uh, these curl flats in like 30 yard drops or something like that. I'm guessing that's what people do because they come down way too shallow and sure enough these crossing routes just kill it and the opponent gets a, a big touchdown. Like I said, I haven't really figured out the secret there. People do that. It's not something I normally do so it's something that I'm still trying to figure out. Back on the offensive side though, uh, my opponent is bringing the safety heat. He really thinks that he's going to take away these inside run lanes. Based off the fact that I scored straight up the middle on him in the last play, I guess he thinks that's the answer but I'm in the stretch play now. In the stretch play if it's cover three, running it just like this. Cover three, cover four, this is the way you want to run it. But against man or man blitzes, you want to flip that because these cornerbacks here are going to follow these receivers back and it's really going to cost them. And you're going to see there's going to be no safety help. So we're going to flip that play with the right stick, go the opposite direction. Now you can see those guys get completely manhandled. And we're off to the races again from 80 yards out on the second carry. Two carries, 135 yards, and two touchdowns. We're just making this look way too easy right now. It's pretty. It's so pretty. And it's all based off of the reads. If I were to run the wrong play it's not going to work if you make the right reads like i'm telling you and you run them against the right type of defenses you're going to make these type of runs and you're going to have explosive results back on the defensive side though i mean we got a close game he's been running this uh, tight end on the corner route a lot from this formation so i changed up my my flat to a curl flat to take that away sure enough it does gotcha, uh, he throws over the middle and we get an interception we were all over that but my cornerback came through made a play and we're going to get the ball back right around the 40 uh and then we're going to run the last play of this formation uh which like i said it's pretty much the uh, the halfback zone we, we come out on the stretch pretty much every time uh, but based off the fact that we have a gap here and we don't have a gap here mm -hmm. that makes my read the halfback zone weak which is the third play in the formation so we're going to switch over to that and you're going to see it's really going to aim us right towards this hole um, which at the moment it's not it's kind of aiming at us at a D tackle but it is what it is you're pretty much going to want to follow this guard what this guard does really will indicate where you're going to go that's who my eyes are on the entire play first he starts off by double teaming at the point of attack which typically helps Helps. Then he peels off to the next defender. Now, I could go left here and make a big play, but you can see the user's coming down into that hole because that's the obvious hole. Like I said, I'm going to follow this guard. I'm going to get on this guard's back. Sure enough, he takes away the, the middle linebacker, and he springs me for another big touchdown run from about 40 yards out. So that's three carries, three touchdowns, and 173 yards uh, in the first, almost first quarter, a little over the first quarter. And my opponent's had enough. He's rage quitting. Uh, even though he's only down a touchdown in a very competitive game in Weekend League, he's had enough because this has been blowing him out so bad uh, that he quits. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, more money plays in gameplay, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.